Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. In today's short video we will paint uh, Adil Mehmoud from our Operation Kaltstrom, actually from the Dire Force pack. So this is a special character, so we will put a little more details to him at the end of the video. I will show you how I painted his uh, power sword. So for now sit back, relax and enjoy the video. I started uh, with uh, priming my model with the Redbone spray and I tried to make an uh, even coat uh, all around the model. And then uh, my first uh, paint will be a black Templar contrast. So I will uh, base all the black parts and the uh, dark blue parts that I want uh, on this model with uh, this color. So there is actually a lot of uh, black on this model. So this could take a while. And for his gun, because I want it to be a little darker, I will do uh, two uh, thick coats. And this is how it looks like when it's uh, fully covered with the Black Templar contrast. For his leather pouch and uh, all the leather belts, I used the uh, Gore Granta fur contrast. Uh, same thing, I used this uh, color straight from the pot and just applied one thick coat uh, over all the parts that I want to uh, look like a leather. Since I was a little messy with the previous colors, I will use a braid bone and just clear all the panels that uh, I want to start putting the next contrast colors, because they are bright colors and if you have some darker color under it, it will leave the marks and it will look like it's uh, stained and actually it, it won't have a nice uh, shade and transition, so just be thorough with this cleanup. After everything is dried, the uh, model is ready for the next step. So I will apply Agaros Dune on his uh, fur coat, and this will be applied in a uh, one uh, thick coat. On his face we will use a Gilliman Flash Contrast Paint uh, straight from the pot, but this time uh, just clean your brush and remove the excess of the paint because you want uh, his uh, face to be a little pale. For the armor I uh, will use the Grip Hound Orange, another contrast paint. Uh, I will use this paint as well straight from the pot and I won't add anything to the mix. Uh, I will just uh, work on this panel by panel and uh, try to have a nice and even uh, coat and uh, try to avoid the paint to pull on your panels because it will uh, they are flat and you don't want them to be stained. So remove all the excess uh, paint so uh, you don't have a pulling and just go all around and do uh, one panel by one panel. He have these two leather straps uh, on his chest and I will paint them with the uh, green uh, Crit Camo contrast paint but uh, this is the detail that you can decorate uh, up to your liking. And our last uh, contrast paint for today will be Afotekari White. So we will just go around all the white panels. There is actually only like six of them. And uh, base them with uh, one thick coat of this uh, color. So at this moment, if you don't have time to dedicate uh, to the highlighting, you can just proceed uh, put a protective coat on your model and start uh, playing with it. But if you want to bring it to a next level, then follow the rest of this guide because now we will go to the highlights. 
action my first highlight will be a dark creeper and I will use this for his jacket so I will cover 90% of his jacket with this color but I will still leave the rest of the black in the recesses so I have a good shade And for the highlights, for the black, I will use Administratum Grey. I will use this color to highlight both jacket and the gun and his boots. So every single black part I will highlight with this color. So for, for the gun, we will do the edge highlights. So we will uh, put a load our brush with the paint and then use the edge of the brush and just pull it like uh, in a motions like opposite like under like 45 to 90 degree angle with the sharp edges of your model so it will create a nice and smooth lines to highlight the pouch and leather belt i use the scrag brown and i will just use it uh, by putting a little color on the top of my brush and just uh, use like a stippling technique just uh, touch the sharp edges like quickly with your brush so it will create like uh, scratches on some lines like a worn leather effect on the pouch and then I use the braid bone uh, I use it like as a dry brush just to highlight his fur and the hair and uh, the trick with this, like if you put too much, you can go back with Agaros Dunes and put back the, the shadows again because I made a couple of mistakes here, so I went back and fixed them. Now it's time to start working on his armor panels. So my first uh, highlight will be the Irel Yellow and with this color I will cover 90% of his armor panels. Uh, just. Uh, to leave the shadows where they are so don't go too deep into the recesses but uh, this color is very transparent so you will have to do two or three uh, thin coats to have a good coverage after you are happy how the armor looks like uh, we will highlight it so i will use a flash gets yellow and this will be my edge highlight so only the sharpest edges uh, i will do them with this color and uh, i will use uh, like side of my brush just to get a nice uh, and even lines for these two letter stripes uh, i will highlight them with the mood green and I will also use this color to uh, paint all the little green lights that he have on his armor so just load uh, your brush and put little dots uh, in those uh, sockets To highlight uh, white panels, uh, I will start with the uh, Ultuan Grey and I will cover 90% of the previous uh, color and I will leave the shades uh, showing. And for the final highlight, I will use a white scar and I will do edge highlight uh, with this color only on the sharpest edges. While I'll still have white on my brush, I will do the eyes. So I will show you a nice easy trick to do the eyes. 
which succeed almost 90% of the time. So I will paint the eye sockets uh, with the white. So just be tidy and uh, fill up the whole eye socket. And then uh, I will use a noon oil and just uh, pour the wash inside the eye socket. Uh, you can be generous with this so you want to have a nice shade inside and after everything is dry just pick up uh, your black color and uh, make a little dot in the middle of the eye To draw these decorative markings that he have on his knee pads, I will use the Ariel Yellow and just uh, add uh, two uh, very thin lines. And to draw the markings on his left arm, I will use Ultra Grey and just draw a little sketch. So I will just reinforce the previous lines that I did uh, with Administratum Grey there and then I will uh, sketch uh, a number on his uh, left arm. I will use the smallest brush I have for this because you want to be a really precise and you don't want to uh, make a mistake and mess all our previous uh, work that we did. And when I'm happy how it looks I will use a white scar and just uh, reinforce it and make it pop. For the scope on his gun and this little sign on the arm, I will just use a Temple Guard Blue just to make a little contrast uh, on the model. To finish off his face, I will use the Kisla Flash and uh, I will just highlight the most raised parts of his uh, face. So just the nose, the cheeks and uh, the un under eyes now it's time to start uh, working on his sword so i will use a cabalet green uh, and mood green and i will mix them on my palette and i will use as well Ariel yellow and I will create a little mix of all these three colors. So actually I have uh, five uh, shades. And then I will start applying it on his sword. So I will start with the darkest color, which is Cabalite Green in this case. And I will put them in the opposite uh, corners of the sword. Then I will add the mix of the Cabalite Green and the Mood Green as the next layer. And then next to it I will add the uh, Mood Green, the pure one. And then uh, just next to it I will add the one uh, where I mix the Mood Green with the Ariel Yellow. So this is just a sketch, so don't worry. Uh, if the transitions are very hard, we will go back and improve them. And our last color to add uh, as a sketch will be the pure uh, Ariel Yellow. So we now need to blend this color. So we will repeat the uh, same process by adding little water to these colors. And uh, just uh, pulling these colors uh, back on the sword and trying to create the transitions and the blends when they are matching together. Uh, only tip is that uh, you need to do this a lot of times and uh, you need to pull the colors from the from the color uh, that you want to shade to the color that you have on your brush so uh, you always go from the brighter color to the darker color and opposite on the other side of the sword 
and after some time after you do this a uh, couple of times you will get uh, nice transitions so the more uh, thin coats you do you will have a better transition so it's up to you uh, how you want this uh, to look like if you want more rougher transitions or to them to be a more smoother so this is my final look how it looks and just to add uh, one final highlight I will use a uh, ultra and gray and just uh, add uh, the sharp lines on the cutting uh, side of the blade and as well on the middle of the blade This will conclude our videos from the Operation Castro and the Dark Force for the Eugene part of the army. So following this and the previous few guides that I put online, you can paint the whole Eugene part of the box. And uh, guys, thanks for the watching. If you like this video, please make a comment below and uh, like and subscribe. It will mean a lot to me and I hope to see you back in the near future when we start working on the other parts of the Infinity Universe. So for now, take care and bye bye.